Hello guys, welcome to JJ Knows Football. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Okay guys, looking at the stats going into this Chelsea versus Liverpool, the head-to-head. -head. Chelsea have only won one time in the last 11 Premier League meeting with Liverpool. In that time, it's been 5 draws and 5 defeats. Being to them 1-0 in May 2018. It's not good enough. The stats are not in Chelsea's favour going into this big match in this weekend. Okay, last season corresponding features. Looking at the lineup, guys, I can see there's going to be a bit of a change for Chelsea in the players that are in. For Liverpool, I don't think it'll be that big of a change. Thiago is coming, but I definitely don't think he'll be ready for this game. So, for Chelsea, a lot of change is going to happen for this one. The stats for last season, we can see that when it comes to shots, Chelsea edged at 13 compared to Liverpool 6. Shots on target, 2 for Chelsea, 3 for Liverpool. Possession, 55% for Chelsea, 45 for Liverpool. Passing as well, Chelsea edged that over Liverpool as well. So, it's not bad on the stats for Chelsea actually. It's not bad on the stats for Chelsea, but the main stat that should be looked at is Chelsea 1 and Liverpool 2. That's what you get judged by, nothing else. Chelsea actually doesn't have a bad home record at the moment, winning the last seven consecutive games. So they have some momentum at Stamford Bridge at the current moment. So looking at this as well, like Chelsea have only lost one in the last 17 opening home games in the Premier League, losing only to Burnley in 2017. They've won 14 out of those 17. So like once again, the stats are in Chelsea's favour. Can they do it though? So looking at the milestone, Georgie in the next appearance will be his 100th for Chelsea in all competition. As well as you look, in the last match against Brighton, Chelsea has reached a landmark 2,000 Premier League points. I definitely think this season they will overtake Arsenal. Not looking at that Man United record yet because that's going to be way down the line before we do that. So last season for Liverpool, Premier League winners, we all know that. Round of 16 in Champions League, beaten by Atletico Madrid. FA Cup 5th round, they were beaten by Chelsea there. League Cup quarter final, coming to shoes runners up. Super Cup winners, Club World Cup. A top scorer was Mo Salah. And a key stat is that Liverpool has not kept a clean sheet in their past six league games as well. Our next interesting stat is that Liverpool have actually scored their last 16 penalties in all competition. And the last time Liverpool lost their first away Premier League game of a season was in the 2014-2015 season against Man City. A 3-1 defeat. They've gone on to win 4 and draw 1 in that time. Okay, as well. Actually, the only club has faced Chelsea 13 times. He's won 5 and drawn 5. He's only lost 3 games against Chelsea. Last time out, Liverpool faced Leeds. They had a lucky escape with that most solid last minute penalty. Chelsea beat Brighton 3-1. So, both teams are in good form. Yeah, match official will be Paul Taney, VAR will be Michael Oliver. Hopefully there's no s nothing extra with VAR this time because it's just too much. Hopefully it just goes smoothly as last weekend. I think last weekend was really good. They were checking the monitor. So hopefully they do that. We don't have to be sitting here waiting 5, 10 minutes. We've all seen it. It's annoying. It's just dragged out. But I'm just going to close off this video now. That's my analysis of Liverpool I've, Liverpool versus Chelsea. I've shown all the stats. So I think it's going to be a good game. Who's going to come out on top? To be honest, even though all those stats show some parts in Liverpool, some parts in Chelsea favour, I think it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a tight match. My prediction is I am going 2-1 Chelsea. Yes, 2-1 to Chelsea. 